This is an instructional video on how to's for the Audacio app and how to do an effort grade for each student on different class days. Going into my elementary PE staff, and if you've downloaded the templates, that you already have a tab there for effort. Now, when you go in there, you'll notice that there is nothing there. There is no tabs for efforts, no columns. There's a tab, but there's no columns for effort. Here's why. You see your students different days than I see my students, and so you cannot say day one, day two, day three. So what we do is follow these instructions on how to create a column for the effort tab. If you downloaded the templates, you already have the grading scales already put in. If you did not download the grading scales, please make sure if you want to use my grading scale to see the how-to and create how to create a grading scale if you would like what you see to be able to do what I'm going to do. Now, at the, my header where it says elementary PE staff and imported, that's what it is, I'm going to double tap the big gray bar. It brings me up column header. Now, I'm not going to give it a header because this is my effort tab. I don't need to put in effort there. But I do need to put in the date, so I'm putting in today. 1118 is my date, and then I go from title over to editor. Now, in the editor part, remember if you download my templates, you're going to use these things. You're going to go down to PE standards. Go to PE standards, click on grade type and do the same thing, PE standards. This way you get a number value and you get the icons along with it. Now at the bottom, I personally like to calculate how my students did as a class, where were we at for the day, so I press this box and I'm going to average them. When I'm done, I press OK and now I have created a column. Now when I go through and create my column, I'm going to give my effort grade, I'm going to go through dark green, 4, advanced, light green, 3, proficient, orange, partially proficient, 2, red, unsatisfactory, a grade of 1, yellow means an absent, I don't give a grade at all, not a 0, but nothing, so it doesn't count against them. When I do this, though, I need to go through, and I'm going to give a grade, so proficient is my standard, so if we're proficient, I copy down, so copy, copy to all column, copy downward, and also, and then I can go through and give, oh, well, Chris, he had an awesome day. He was advanced. He was going above and beyond. Mr. Chapla, well, he's having a hard time lately. And today, especially, he had a hard time sharing. He had a hard time with the equipment. He was breaking the equipment. So he's unsatisfactory. Um, Gina, she was absent today. Cynthia, she had an awesome day. Great job of sharing and getting partners in. And go through. When I'm done, I press finish. When I press finish, I have a three average. It just kind of worked out that way with our unsat and our partially proficiency. Now, to create another tab, I'm going to click on the header again, and it brings it up. Now, the nice thing about the Audacio app is it's going to copy the same settings you had before. So you need to change the date. All right, so today is not today anymore. Go through the date, November 19th. I see my students the next day. So you'll notice if I do go to editor, though, PE standards, it's already there. PE standards, it's already there for the grade type. It copies what the last column was, but I do need to add an average if I want to average. So I go through, and I'm going to copy to all column again. So that's my fill all option. Today, we had an awesome day, ended up with 3.0, great. Next day, go through again. I'm going to put in the date. It is now the 23rd of November. And I go to my editor, it's going to be the same. Grade type is going to be the same. Average, yes, okay. So I go through, today was a very rough day. Lots of sugar, full moon, snowing, indoor recess, you know how it goes, all the different reasons why kids act up. And so we copy on down, and we had some students that were absent. Some, some students, you know what, they were really on it. And so they were advanced. We had a few students doing exactly what they're supposed to do. And we had some, well, just really not doing well today. So today we averaged a 2.1. Now, when you are done at the end of the year or the end of the semester, end of the quarter, whenever you give an effort or a behavior grade, you need to calculate that grade. Well, on standard 1, 2, 3, and 4, it will calculate that final grade for you. So how do I calculate this grade? Well, let me show you here. Going back to my effort tab, I need to click at the top and I need to go to editor. Well, first I'm going to change my title. I'm going to put in final final effort. Now, go to editor. I'm going to go down to calculation raw average. Now, Grade type, PE standards. I still need to keep the PE standards. And me, I personally like an average, so I'm going to average it all. 
Now, before I can do it, I have to follow the instructions. It said double tap the ones I want. Okay, so down in the columns next to the student names under effort, I'm going to double tap. All right, it brings up my raw average. Okay, click on the column headers, the top of what you want to add in to average. So I click in those headers, 11, 8, 11, 19, 11, 23. Now it's going to, each one is 33% of the grade, showing my 100%. I am done. And now it has calculated a final grade for me, so I just have to take that number and add it in. If I have created comments in here, so I did an annotation. John was fighting in line throwing balls at the windows and tearing posters on the wall. This is exactly why John got the grade he did. So I press finish. I have that little black mark in box top right hand corner. That's my annotation. When I click on his name just one time, it says John Valdez. John was fighting in line, throwing balls at the windows, and tearing posters on the walls. This is exactly why I like to leave annotations, especially if I'm going to give an unsatisfactory for the day, so that I can talk to parents at parent teacher conferences or a parent comes in. Why is my student only partially proficient in the class instead of proficient for effort? Well, here's exactly why. I go through day by day and explain exactly why their student behaved the way they did. Or if I need to call home at the end of the day, I have the specific reason step by step of why I have this information. So this is the how-to on how to create effort tabs, effort columns, in the effort tab and create the final grade. Hope it is helpful. Get an email and D-S-P-E-N-C-E-R at APS dot K12 dot CO dot US. Any more questions on how to's or a little more information on the effort, please email me, leave me comments. You have one or inquiring in more information on the how to's, check the playlist on YouTube first to see if it, there's an already how to video done. If not, send me an email and I'll get that out there. Hope you have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen.